this is a geared flow divider. What, what do they do? They actually take one flow and equally divide it quite accurately into two flows. So if, if you were to put 10 liters in here, there's a set of gears in here, which we'll open up in a minute and find out what's going on. If I can hold it still enough. And then five liters will come out here and five liters will come out here. Uh, we've actually marked them so that we know which, which way they go back together. It's always better to put a diagonal line rather than two lines like that. So that diagonal line, you can't, you can't mix them up if you put a diagonal line. Straight lines, you can mix them up sometimes, but diagonal lines, you can't mix them up. These are relief valves. It could be the relief valves that are the problem. We're going to try and check those relief valves. We're going to actually set them to 1,500 PSI. Uh, Actually, no, we're going to set them to about 600 PSI. 600, 687. 687 PSI. We might, we might just go to 700 PSI because this is actually going on a hoist for a car. Uh, and the hoist has three ton lifting capacity. The cylinders are about a 60 millimeter bore. So we've calculated that each cylinder needs to lift one and a half tons or 1,500 kilos. So we only need 680 PSI to lift 1,500 kilo per cylinder. So we're gonna probably try and set these to 700 PSI. That's a common shaft, is it? Yeah. Any common shaft. So that's, a, that's a common shaft. Um, and that little ball bearing. Okay. You have this one here. What's that driving? Is that driving a groove in here? I wonder how that works. Oh, this is uh, just to hold it in. So it doesn't pop out. Anyway, let's try and work out what's going on. See how that's got a little gear there? Mm -hmm. Ah, there's the other gear. So that gear. So the shaft drives two of these, which then drive two of these. Okay. 